hello students welcome all in this lecture series we are to going to discuss about the new topic that is named as introduction to stability and routes criteria so this is the lecture one of this topic and in the lecture one we will discuss about the classification of system based on the stability so the classification of the system is done in in the three ways first one the type of the system is known as a stable system second type of the system is known as a unstable system and third one is marginally stable system so these are the three type of the system on to which we can classify it so let's discuss about the characteristic equation first after that we will discuss about the stability of the systems so the expression of the characteristic equation can be given as 1 plus g of s into h of s is equals to 0 so this is the perfect expression for the characteristic equation let us take the example of a one characteristic equation let's take s square plus 3s plus 2 equals 0 this is the characteristic equation and if we find the roots of the this characteristic equation then it will be just like s square plus 2s plus s plus 2 equals 0 then s common s plus 2 plus 1 s plus 2 equals 0 so the roots will be s and equals 0 so these are the two factors so if we are going to find out the roots then the roots are roots are first root is s equals to minus 2 on equating s plus 2 equals to 0 we will get s equals to minus 2 and second root is s equals to minus 1 which we will get after equating s plus 1 equals 0 so these all are the two roots that we find by equating s plus 2 and s plus 1 equals to 0 let's discuss about the stability of the system so we can find the stability based on the s plane only you all know that the s plane can be represented as here is the s plane and this is the j omega axis of s plane that is also known as imaginary axis and it is the real axis of s plane so if we are going to plot these two roots onto this s plane then it will be just like minus 1 and it will be here minus 2 so as we have seen that both the roots that is minus 1 and minus 2 lies in the left hand side area of the s plane only this is the lhs part of s plane and this is the rhs part of s plane as both the roots that is minus 1 and minus 2 lies only in the left hand side of the s plane then we can easily say that it is a stable system so the condition for the stable system is stable system a system is said to be stable if all the roots of a characteristic equation
lies in the left hand side of the S plane. So uh, this is the perfect definition of the stable system. So this system is defined as a stable only if all the roots of the characteristic equation that is this equation all the roots that is minus 1 and minus 2. So all the roots of the characteristic equation lies only in the left hand side of the S plane. So it is a stable system. Let's move on to the unstable system that is our second classification. A system is said to be an unstable system in the two cases. So let's discuss about the case 1. Case 1. In the case 1, if at least one of the roots, if at least one root of characteristic equation lies in right hand side of the S plane then we can say that the system is unstable So let's discuss this fact by the help of an example. So this is the S plane. This is J omega axis that is imaginary axis and this is a real axis. If the characteristic equation have any of the roots which lies onto the right hand side of the S plane that is this RHS part. Inside that RHS part if any of the roots lie in the RHS like they are here or they are anywhere in the RHS then we can say that the system is unstable according to the definition if at least one of the root of the characteristic equation lies in the RHS of the S plane that is in this section then we can say that the system is unstable let's discuss about the second case According to the case 2, if any of the roots are repeated and that repeated roots lies either on the j omega axis or at the origin only, then we can also say that the, our system is unstable. The diagrammatic representation by the help of an S plane is, this is j omega axis, this is real axis. So if the repeated roots lies on the j omega axis that is this is the one root after that another root also lies on the j omega axis. So this is the condition where the two roots that are repeated and lies only on the j omega axis. So in this case also our system is unstable. Second case which is of the origin this is j omega axis this is real axis. So if the two roots lies on the origin only then also our system is unstable. So these are the two conditions in which we can say that our system is unstable. Let's discuss about the third category 
of the classification of system that is marginally stable systems so what's the marginal stable system says is if the two roots that are non repeated and lies only on the j omega axis then that type of system is also known as marginally stable system if the roots of character stick equation are non repeated and also lies on the j omega axis then we can say that our system is marginally stable system the example to that fact is by the help of s plane we can see if the characteristic equation have the two roots on to which one of the root lie on the j omega axis at this position and another root lie at this position then these are the non repeated roots as their position are different but also these both the roots lies only on the j omega axis so we can see that both the roots are non repeated and lies only on the j omega axis that's why the system is marginally stable so this is all about the classification of the system and its stability also thank you